Hello to you, everyone. My name is Paul Uno, a Nigerian. I want to present to you the wonderful history of Otekovi people. The founder of Oteko Nduam people, otherwise known as Otekovi, was a man called Antarifia. Oteke Nduam is a village in Ataro, Okobo, local government area of Akwaibom State, Nigeria. Antarifia migrated during pre-colonial era from Afik in Calabar, present-day Cross River States, to Amwanesen Junction and Ezwaro, Oron Beach, in the present Akwaibom States. This man, Antarifia, had three sons, namely Antiatak, first son, Bito Antak, second son, and Biafiantak, third son. In search of greener pasture, that is fertile land for farming, Antarifia, with his three sons, remigrated from Ezwaro to Atararo area of Oro Nation. Before the arrival, there were other earlier settlers in Atararo area. Antarifia and his three sons settled among these people and socialized with them. Mysterious demonstration of African magic. One day, Bituantak, who happened to be the second son of Antarifia, took a basket to the stream, fetched water with it, and came back to the village, was walking around, showing it to the people. People were amazed for what they saw. It was strange, unheard of, or unseen elsewhere. Another day, the Afiantak, the third son of Antarifia, invited the whole villagers to his house. He told them that he had surplus food to feed them with. When the people arrived his compound, the Afianta came out from his room and welcomed the people to his premises. While he was still speaking, the Afianta transformed himself into a mini grown palm tree bearing ripe palm fruits. The villagers became scared and ran away. The third day, Anteatak, Anteantak, first son, said to himself, I am the eldest son, yet my younger brothers are performing wonders and gaining popularity and fame. What shall I do so that these villagers will relocate from this territory? And Tata, who was the custodian of the deity called Otekikbi, sent messages to the villagers to come to the village square. When the people came, Antata performed his own wonders by bending a palm tree and using a raffia palm from raffia palm, sorry, and using raffia rope from raffia palm to tie to the bent palm tree to set a trap. After seeing these wonders, some people who could not withstand they fear, pack their belongings, and run away to another territory. Last wonder was performed by their father, Antarifia, who called the villagers to gather at the village hall. When the villagers had gathered, Antarifia told them to gather again after nine months to witness how he was going to deliver a baby. After nine months, Antarifia invited the people to gather again. When they had all gathered, Antarifia sat down on a wooden chair. He bent 
his right knee and his kneecap opened. Then he brought out a bouncing baby boy. He bent his left knee and brought out the placenta of the baby. For people who didn't believe that a man could be pregnant and deliver a baby, they saw it as an they saw it and assumed that the man and his three children were small gods. The people, out of fear of the next unpredictable magic, packed their belongings and all left the territory to the neighboring community, leaving Antarifia and his three sons alone in the territory. To Antarifia and his sons, people running away from the territory was mission accomplished. As a result, Antarifia named the territory Otieke, meaning Kongero, and he became the founder of Otiekendwa. Otiekendwa happens to be my village. Late Bob Mali once said, if you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. Documents containing and supporting the above facts concerning history of my village, Otiekendwa, were handed over to me by my village elders in order to transmit it to the present and generations yet unborn. My brother man, know your history. <laughs>